This is uh, documenting adding LED backlighting to this picture here. The backstory is is that this past Christmas, my wife wanted to put some lighting around this Christmas type lighting around this photo, this large picture that hangs on our living room wall pretty much by itself. So I said, well, you know what? I'll throw some LEDs around the outer edge and right do a little thing. And I ended up doing that and using WLED on a little controller here. Went off, turned itself on at uh, dusk and turned off at 11. It was twinkle, Christmas lights twinkling around the edge, and she threw some garland on it. So after Christmas, she took everything off, and I decided to leave LEDs on there, and we had a, a blue twinkle going on around it. And I went and turned it off a couple of times. My wife kind of missed it, so I said, you know, I don't like the glare. So we're going to go, and I'm going to go and put these LEDs on the back side so you can't see them, so they'll kind of light the wall instead. So this is documenting that. Uh, the picture's already been stripped down in back, the, the frame in back. I'll, I'll show you that. I've already done one groove with the router uh, to put the LEDs down into it in a channel with a diffuser. And we'll uh, show you the steps right now. We're getting ready to do the last uh, routing on one side. And then we're going to, we have to double, it's three quarter inch wide, so we need to double route it to get the proper depth. Okay, we've already taken the backing paper off and uh, cleaned up all the staples, everything else. Here's uh, the first run of the router. This is three quarters of the way done. You can see it's all the way around over to here. And then we, we just had to do this one right here. And once we get that done, we're going to go around it again because, again, the channel that we have right here, it's not deep enough. What we have here is still sticking and you're going to still be able to see it. So I need to do another pass. This is the lowest profile uh, LED holder you can get right there. It's actually called the Flexible. Uh, and it comes with its own cover. Uh, of course, on Amazon. I'll put a link to it. Okay, we have the back of the frame all routed out and place some of the channel in there. Probably going to glue it in there. I definitely recommend using the channel. We have to cut this to length over here. Uh, it absorbs the heat of the LEDs and allows you to use a diffuser on top. And in between the main channels here, I put a little router in there for the wire in between the pieces to lay down so it'll be under the surface. And again, this just has to be cut, but it's going to lay in there like that with the cover on it. Uh, there are some end pieces there that they give you that you can run, plug up and put the, the piece of wire through there. But I don't think I'll be using that. I'll just be using the covers on it. So we're going to figure out how to get these, cut them to, to the size we need, because we need to add on some pieces. This one's a couple inches short. And uh, once we have that done and figured out how they're glued down, and before we start to place the LEDs, I'll show them out how, it's, how it's, I'm laying it out. Okay, we got the uh, aluminum crack glued in to the router, and I used this uh, advanced craft glue 3-in-1 to do that. Uh, so next we're going to coat the insides on here all the way down with some 3M primer. That allows some good adhesion. Got a little jar of it that I dispense out with a little brush. We'll brush that all the way around the whole perimeter, get it all set. We have the LED we're using, uh, 6812 RGBW strips. Uh, they're programmable. Each one is programmable. And we're using the three wire for interconnects around the corners. And we're going to be using this three wire black for the center where it's going to be going down below. We'll have that tacked into there. So it'll be stress relief. And that's going to, we're going to use a four foot piece. So that's where it'll go down the wall. Uh, and that'll join to the, to the controller and put wire right here. We're just going to replace this right here. And we need to get a little box for this. Uh, some of the supplies you're going to need, uh, which really helps <clears throat> on this, is some solder flux. Because you can put it on the little contacts when you're soldering right here. It helps it solder lay down super quick. Uh, some very fine solder. Uh, I use this to hold it with and refill from there. Of course, some cutting tools, scissors to cut the strips. Uh, basically, uh, I'm going to lay out all the strip. Uh, I will not attach it. I'll 
cut them to length, solder them together, and then attach them. And we'll show that as we go along. We'll, we're not going to film that. We're going to show it in piecemeal. We have the wiring done, uh, soldering little connectors on each end, joining them together, as you can see. Uh, you have to be aware of keep them direction because it is a directional LED strip. As you can see, the arrows are pointing this way. And we went all the way around. We have it all set up. It's working. Uh, there's the control board. The other corner, uh, that's where it's going to be coming out the, the bottom right there. And the other corner. So it's all set. We haven't glued it down yet. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to work this over here. Uh, and this is where the wire is going to be coming out. And we left this together for now. But that has to all come apart and get soldered up properly. And we'll document that. We'll show that after uh, we get this all done and everything's pressed down. We'll show it before the cover goes on. The covers go on. If you have any questions about the soldering, uh, ask. Uh, like I said, I'm just using a 7-watt uh, uh, solder, pencil solder, and some very fine solder. And when I do put the LEDs down, one thing you want to do is after you stick them down, you want to take a heat gun and or a hair dryer and heat them up so that they're quite warm to the touch. And what that does is that activates the adhesive on the back of the LED strips, and they really bond. They will not come off. You will not get them off no matter what, even if they run hot. Okay, we have all the LEDs fastened down. Uh, they're on. Everything is working correctly. We're getting ready to put the covers on, the diffuse covers. And I just wanted to point out where I've wired it together here in the center. Uh, the strip is split right there. And what I've done is I've come on to this side over here with the three wires and then I backtrack voltage to over here because by the time the voltage goes all the way around there's a dimming effect over on this side by bringing the voltage to both ends you've taken the voltage both ways out and it keeps it evenly lit all the way around the whole perimeter one of the things you have to be aware of when you're uh, dealing with LEDs is the length and amperage that you're using and making sure that you have extra uh, wires going to if you have a real long length like a 15 foot length you really need to put voltage in the middle someplace uh, I did this just because I want it's going to be on the wall and a little bit of fading will be noticeable uh, we're going to put the covers on and over here where this is done here I'm just going to cut a little V in the cover where it goes down and we'll snap a picture of that with the covers on show you what that looks like and then uh we're gonna, we gotta seal it back up with brown paper and put the hanging wire on and then it'll be finished and we'll show you something on the wall. As you can see, the covers are on. Mute it down a little bit. We'll be able to run it a little bit brighter with the covers on and I think it'll blend better on the white wall, the wall that it leans up against. So we're gonna put the uh, brown paper back on the back. Close that up and then we're gonna put the hanger back on and the hanger protectors. Okay, we had the back all closed up. Uh, we put the wrapping paper on. Didn't have a full size, we had to tape some together. Put the hanging strap on with some wall protectors back on there. And she's ready to go back up on the wall. Here's the uh, finished product hanging on the wall. Uh, this is the standard blue background, twinkle, blue twinkle background, whatever you want to call it. And what's nice about it now is when you go around to the side, you can't see the LEDs at all. Nothing, just reflecting off the wall. Here's an effect called flame. Here's a uh, twinkle mode for Christmas. Just to give you an idea, you can do a lot of stuff with this. If you have any questions, put them in the comment. I'll see if I can help you out. Have a good day.